Long Island Railroad riders are hoping for a smoother commute home tonight after what happened yesterday. Passengers called the evening rush a disaster. Just look at the crowds here at Penn Station. So we're demanding some answers from the railroad tonight. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan is live in Mineola where commuters are returning home right now. Jennifer? Christine, good evening. Now we have some delays due to the weather, but 24 hours ago, commuters were having problems. The Long Island Railroad was making no announcements. Trains were being canceled left and right, leaving commuters complaining, where is the communication? Robert Deckard stood on the Jamaica Station platform recalling an uncomfortable feeling of being sandwiched within a confusing crowd of commuters without a train in sight. Social media abuzz with images of a jam-packed Penn Station Tuesday evening posting comments, crowding, pushing, hard to breathe, claustrophobic, no information. Nobody said anything. They just left people standing there. Even some of the workers, when you asked them, they didn't even know. The railroad later explained that service stalled at 5 p.m. due to a dis disabled train stuck on the tracks and the resulting shortage of equipment. By 11.30 p.m., most LIRR lines were back operating on schedule. Some frustrated passengers telling us it evoked memories of last Monday's post-blizzard. We're in 2016 now. We have electronics, we have computers, we have a lot of things going you on. Want better we're, communication. Yes, better communication would be good. Established in 1834, the railroad has 700 miles of track, 124 stations, almost 88 million riders, the highest in 66 years. Tourists from so, Texas um, and Florida. You like the railroad compared to what you've seen in other parts of the country? Oh, yes, most definitely. To be able to come here and just take the train where to, wherever you have to go, that's great. And with growing numbers of riders, a renewed push by the railroad and the governor for a third track on the main line between Floral Park and Hicksville. Can the LIRR handle the proposed $1 billion expansion? They're going to keep charging us more money. We should at least get better service or keep the same bad service and pay less. The railroad just updated us again, saying a disabled train, a car on the tracks, not enough equipment, holding trains for late connections, and police activity all converged at once. The railroad apologizes for the inconvenience. We're live tonight in Mineola. Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News.